<clears throat> Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. Today I want to make a really short video, if I can make a really short video, uh, about making some backgrounds for this little book that I have. So I can do a little flip through. I have these stamps by Octopode Factory. They're ditchy stamps. Uh, so actually little color coloring um, pictures. And I printed out a few of them. Uh, I need to color them in. I wanted to do that when I was on vacation, but it didn't work out. So I need to do that. But I thought I'd make some little backgrounds. And these, this is a little book where the backgrounds are very simple. It's just actually really simple. So this is the teacher's pet. And I just put some um, dilution paint on here when it was still good, when it still worked. So this has been a while. And over here I have a little scaredy cat page. And uh, I glued the pages together because this is really thin. Where is the rum gone? <laughs> uh, oh, this was a stencil I had bought back then. See, it's, it's a really simple background. Just one color and then just a stencil on top. This one was a bit more work. I did this with little uh, stickers. And if I can find them soon, I'm going to show you how I did that. It was really fun to do, but I don't know where I left them, where I put them. <laughs> I love this one, <laughs> especially you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. <laughs> yeah, Edward Scissorhands, don't want him to scratch your back. <laughs> and then, of course, we have Shakespeare. I wish my horse had the speed of your tongue. It's from Much Ado About Nothing. <laughs> I really love that play. It's a really simple background again. All I know, one of us is right and the other one is you. <laughs> Mad as a Hatter. I didn't collect Alice in Wonderland when I made this, so that's so much fun. Um, so I need to glue these two together, and here I have a simple background where I just um, cleaned my brushes and stuff. And then I need to glue this together. And I made this one. Actually, this is Alice. <laughs> so, and then I need to glue, glue this one together, and this is a really, really simple background, but I love it, so I'm going to keep it like this. So, I want to make a few backgrounds, so I... I uh, have to leave this one open and then make this background. So, what do I want to do? I want to make it really, really simple. So I'm just going to show you how I make uh, a few backgrounds. I'm just going to take pink for this one. It's going to be a pink background. So you just take... Uh, I'm going to take my oxide inks because I love the pastel color. And ooh, this paper is really good for blending, I think. It's really smooth but I'm not sure if it's good with water so uh, wait so a bit of this and a bit of this color so I'm not even gonna bother to get it all really nice and smooth and there's lots of white left over that but that's okay because these are really this is just a fun book to just make little backgrounds just do something and uh, it's it's okay if uh, if it's simple well don't know what to say anymore <laughs> as you saw it was really simple the rest of it and I'm gonna do it with this page as well. Actually this is a great background the way it is, but I'm going to try to use some water on this. I'm not sure if this paper is really good with water, but we'll find out. Oh, you can see it. Look at that! That's awesome! <laughs> okay. You can see the Oxidization, is that how you say it? Process on this paper, it works really awesome. Okay, I love that. So actually, this background is finished. <laughs> See, it can be this easy. So now I'm just, uh, I just need to dry it a little. I do need to dry it a little. Wait a minute. So this works so different on different papers, but on this paper, which is really thin, so I need to glue it together, it works really, really well. <laughs> Finished. Okay, I love this. So maybe I can color in one of these, maybe this one, put her on a page and 
put a sentiment on it and that's it. So this is my quick and easy <laughs> little journal. So I'm gonna make another page. Oh, I did make another page. I can put some stencils over this one. Um, I just look, took some stencils. It really doesn't matter. You know what, I'm just gonna take this one. Okay, this one. So I'm going to go over it. It's a bit too pink because I already used pink on the last page. So I'm going to use some orange. And I'm just going to do this. Love it. I need to put some paper under this one because otherwise I'll get it on the other paper and it's okay but well, if I can prevent it well finished finished <laughs> But of course, I already had a background. But uh, it's just this easy. I didn't know I had so many backgrounds. This one is okay. I'm gonna leave it like that. So I've been working in this book more than I thought. Because it's just so much fun to do. Here, over here, I just think I just cleaned my brush. My brayer. Okay, do another one. So, um, I like that with a stencil. So I'm gonna do that again. Um, well, let's use the oxidings again. So now I want something a bit more. Ooh, this one, peacock feathers. I just took some out of my uh, cupboard. So, um, oh well, just like this. Ooh, this is artistic. Oh, that's the fun part of this. Just do something. I want to make do this quickly. Don't think about it too much. Just you know, quickly go over it, and that makes it a lot of fun because the focus is going to be on the little picture. So it doesn't matter what you do in the background. So let's just do something. Let's just. Put some water over this as well because I really love that the way that looks so actually it's gonna be a bit the same but because I don't um, blend it out really well I just dab it a bit I think that's the best word for it it has a totally different look I love it see so what I mean is that over here over where? Uh, all the way over here. I just blended it out and here I just dabbed on it. And that looks awesome. So here we go in. I love this. Let's see if this works on this page as well. Make my hands really wet. Oh, I think it's gonna be awesome. You see it less than the other page because, well, because I didn't put a thick layer over it, <laughs> but I love it. Okay, let's try that. And now I can put something else on top, but I think I kind of like this look, so I'm gonna leave it like this. So I'm gonna do one more. Ooh, in the middle of the book. And uh, I am going to use the oxidings again because I have them over here. So this time it's gonna be green and orange and yellow. I haven't used those. Nope. So yes, I did use orange. So I need two more. I have lots of these and I love it to have so many of these. You just work with it and then I just clean them and have them ready for the next time. So with this one I'm going to, I don't know, do this. <laughs> so
so a bit more the same as um, the first one I did. This one is harder to blend. Okay, some orange. Do guys and some yellow? Okay, this one is gonna be a bit more difficult because I'm gonna do this again because it's just so awesome. <laughs> Look at that, <laughs> it just completely takes out the color. I love that. Okay, sorry, need to dry it again. Okay, it's dry. So now I'm gonna go over it with this stencil with the color that's still left on here. It's pink, but I'm not sure if there's much left, but I'm just gonna go over it like this. Look at that, <laughs> I love it. Okay, this was a different color pink. Oh, there's nothing left on it. Okay, for some blue. So this is a great way to clean your sponges. And a really fun way to make a background. I just love it. Uh, what color do I have left? Well, some of the orange. Oh, it was yellow. Okay. Yellow. Look how simple that is. I absolutely love it. So guys, that was just to show you how easy you can make some really quick backgrounds. And uh, you don't need to splatter water on here, but I really like it. So what I just made was this one. Uh, this was just... Um, oxide inks, two colors, blend them and just flick some water on it. Then I put some stencil on here. I just, oh, I can clean this one. Wait, I can show you at the end. And this one I already had. This one is just dab your dauber a bit more on it than really pushing it down. And then flick some water on it. And this one you saw me do just now. Um, just make a background and put the stencil on it. Okay, so this one is yellow and this is gonna be yellow. So, so I'm gonna, uh, skip this page, so there's one and then two together. Go right to this page. And I can clean this with a clean dauber. Any one. And just clean it off. Just go over the stencil and the ink that's still on the stencil is gonna go on my paper. Really soft, really light. I like it. You can hardly see it, so I can put this one as well. <laughs> so this is really light. It's really hard to see. Now you can see it quite good. And I can put something over here. I have no idea what else. Maybe I can clean some other stencils that I'm going to use in this book. Come back to this page and clean them in the same way. And then you get a really nice pattern. Can't do that now because I don't have any more stencils and then I have to make more backgrounds. So now I'm going to color some of these really nice images and fussy cut them. And then in the next video I'll um, glue them in together with you and make cute pages like this one. <laughs> so I uh, hope you liked the video. It was just a short video, although I ramble a lot so my videos are never short. <laughs> But uh, it was just to show you, if you just want to make something quick and easy, these backgrounds are so simple. And again, guys, I, my oxide inks, but of course you can take other inks and make... Well, you can't make these little splatters, but you can make things like, um, like this with other inks as well. Hope you liked the video. I uh, would love a thumbs up, of course. And let me know in the comments, do you do this uh, yourself? You just sometimes just make little quick and easy backgrounds just to do something. You don't really have the time to... You know really make something but just make some backgrounds and then come back later 
uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this. I really love this little book. <laughs> so, uh, well, all that's left to say now is groetjes from Holland. See you next time. Bye.